This morning, eminent women from across the field gathered for the Women in Material Science and Engineering breakfast. MRS TV went along to find out more. I'm an engineer and I work for Johns Hopkins University at the Applied Physics Laboratory and I'm the keynote speaker for the breakfast here at the MRS conference. We focused this morning, uh, our topic is about women in engineering, a premier power source, a play on words of course, but also understanding that uh, women uh, have a role to play in every genre, in every career path. And we're talking about the fact that women in engineering, uh, the numbers are growing, but we're not there yet and we want to talk about where we are and how we can increase the numbers, how we can increase the pipeline. So we'll look at the current landscape of where women in engineering are uh, across the board. And then th those obstacles or impediments that keep us from moving forward and also look at what uh, we can do to encourage young girls also for the next generation to take our place. Uh, and then also how we can, through career development, enhance our own careers to make sure that we're realizing our full potential as women in engineering. I'm hoping to learn more about the status of women in material science. Women are clearly underrepresented at conferences like this and that seems unnatural and we should learn more about that. Being together or being of the same gender or of the same class in some sort facilitates communication and it's I'm inquiring what the people at my table are doing, so that's a good opportunity for that. I came to one of these events last year um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's important for all of us in MRS to kind of understand what the issues are. I think being a woman in engineering, I was in a field that was relatively strong in women, um, so that's just not really something that I'm aware of. And then once you get to the faculty position, it, it's a little bit more clear. Um, so it just, I think, helps motivate people um, to figure out what they really want to do and not to be discouraged by underrepresentation. We have graduate students here, we have members of the corporate community here, we have professors from uh, colleges and universities, and so we, we have a wide range of talent in the room, and those who uh, will then be able to take the information and then go back and have a significant impact in their communities. 